the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Friends, we gather here together to celebrate the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. This feast invites us to feel and to live in the awareness of the presence of the Triune God, the God, the Father, who is the Creator, the Son, who is the Redeemer, and the Holy Spirit, who is the Sanctifier. As we celebrate this feast, let us acknowledge our sins and call to mind our own shortcomings. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of the Eternal Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, mercy. have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring us salvation through your death and resurrection. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the source of everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, mercy. have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and to bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and the Lord earth peace to the people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore a unity powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people, saying, Ask now about former ages, long before your own, ever since the day that God created man on earth. Ask from one end of the heavens to the other. Has anything so great as this ever happened, or has, it, has its like ever been heard of? Has any people ever heard the voice of God speaking out of the fire as you have heard and lived? Or has any God ever attempted to go and take a nation for himself from the midst of another nation by trials, by signs and wonders, by war, by a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, and by terrifying displays of power as your Lord God did for you in Egypt before your very eyes? So acknowledge today and take to heart that the Lord is God in heaven above and on earth beneath, and there is no other. Keep his statutes and his commandments, which I am commanding you today, for your own well-being and that of your descendants after you so that you may long remain in the land that the Lord your God is giving you for all time. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsory of the song, our response is, Blessed the people the Lord had chosen as his heritage. Blessed the people the Lord had chosen as his heritage. The word of the Lord is upright, and all his work is done in faithfulness. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the steadfast love of the Lord. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen as his heritage. By the word of the Lord the heavens were made, and all their host by the breath of his mouth. For he spoke, and it came to be. He commanded, and it stood firm. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen as his heritage. Truly, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, on those who hope in his steadfast love, to deliver their souls from death and to keep them alive in famine. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen as his heritage. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and shield. Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us, even as we hope in you. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen as his heritage. A reading of the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons and daughters of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received a spirit of adoption to sonship. When we cry, Abba, Father, it is that very Spirit bearing witness within our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. For in fact, we suffer with Him so that we may also be glorified with Him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus had directed them. 
When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The story is told of a priest sitting in an airport waiting for his flight. A fellow killing time struck up a conversation with him. The man said, Father, I believe only what I can understand, so I can't buy your trinity. Perhaps you can explain it to me. The priest reluctantly put down the New York Times. Do you see the sun out there? Yup, said the man. Okay, it's 8 million, 80 million miles away from us right now. The rays coming through the window, said the priest, are coming from the sun. The delightful heat we are enjoying on our bodies right now comes from a combination of the sun and its rays. Do you understand that? The man answered, Sure, Padre. The Trinity, the priest went on, is like that. God the Father is the blazing sun. The sun is the, in the rays that sends down from the sun. Then they both combine to send us the Holy Spirit who is the heat. If you understand the working of the sun, its rays and heat, why do you have difficulty believing the Trinity? The man said something about catching a flight and went off. Sisters and brothers, there is so much in life which is a mystery to many of us. From the time of creation, we have been trying to uncover, fathom, or understand the many mysteries of our human life. When it comes to our Christian faith, the Holy Trinity is one of the greatest mysteries. Over the centuries, Many theologians and scholars have tried to explain the Holy Trinity, but it still remains a mystery because it is to do with the very nature of God. To most of us today's feast of the Trinity, may not be as stirring or as touching as Christmas, Easter, and Pentecost. 
Yet today's feast sums up all of these. It is simply the feast of one God who shows three loving faces to us. And Trinity is about that special relationship, that special bond that the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit share with each other. Jesus spoke of his Father, Abba, as the source of every good thing. And Jesus spoke about the Holy Spirit, whom he will send to be our comforter and help. In our second reading, St. Paul says that it is the Spirit that makes us call our Heavenly Father, Abba. Today's feast not only celebrates the special bond that the three persons of the Trinity share with each other. It also celebrates the special bond that we share with God. Today we celebrate our membership in the family of the Triune God. A membership that we have received first through our creation in the image and likeness of God and second by our baptism in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The very fact that we take this time to celebrate this Eucharist is a sign of our belonging to and our bond with our triune God, the family of God. And that belonging, that membership in the family of God means that we imitate the mutual, the self-giving and the self-sacrificing love of the Trinity in our own relationships with one another in our families, in our workplace, in our communities, and so on. Unfortunately, self-giving and self-sacrificing love is becoming more and more difficult in our society today. All around us, we see conflicts and unwanted misunderstandings among spouses, among siblings, among family members, among friends, and so on. Today, we live in a culture where we are encouraged to ask, what is in it for me? As a result of which many relationships suffer today. Sisters and brothers, in the midst of this challenging reality, the Trinity is given to us as a model of unconditional love. So let us pray that we may always appreciate the mutual, the self-giving and self-sacrificing love of the Trinity for each of us. And that we may strive to imitate that mutual, that self-giving, and that self-sacrificing love in our own relationships with one another. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now profess our faith in the Lord. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, and died in the Spirit. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven 
I will see that at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there you will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the last day. Amen. We shall now bring our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the Church, that all who are baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit may proclaim the good news with their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For every person living on earth, that they may come to understand that they are and that they will always be loved by God, who is the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For, he, for the healing of those who are ill, especially Melanie Presti, Honor Marie Sumero, Richard Katrina, Jacob Roca, Anthony Serge, and Jane Rose. And for those who lovingly care for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially John Sivak, and for all who are grieving the loss of a loved one, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our prayer, personal prayer intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we ask you to bless us, those who celebrate this feast of Trinity. Bless us that we may not try to understand this feast, but to feel the presence of you three. And answer our prayers. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of your human hands, it will become for us our spiritual food. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine, work of your human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice to your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctified by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son, 
and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim, two and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gerard our Bishop and all the clergy, the people you have gathered virtually and here. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, Saint Kevin, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glory for you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. 
graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and bread of Christ from the everlasting. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Spirit. May Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.